on what I'm seeing on ETH, Ethereum. Uh, I'm showing September about 17th, September 17th as a possible top. Um, it's on a weekly cup and handle. If you want to put it on a weekly, see if I can pull it right quick. See the cup right here. Here's the handle. If you measure this to the bottom of right here, your top of your right cup to here, this measures up to about 4,900. Okay, if you do a Fibonacci retracement on it, uh, it could go to 43.72, I believe, possibly even 6,000 if it goes to a 1.618 retracement or extension of the uh, of the current price action. But um, let's see, I want to pull up uh, Solano. I think on a four hour, it looked like it could top out. Somewhere around either 9-8 or 9-9, September 9th. Uh, this one looks a little higher, I believe. Yeah, it's higher. Now, if you want to wait, there's going to be a little pullback on the 8th, looks like. But it should rock it up. If you want to just take profit, probably what I'm going to do. Uh, looks like this is UCT time, um, whatever that is. Uh... So you got to subtract five hours for Central Standard. So we got 2300 on the 7th of September could be the top. Uh, now this is not financial advice. This doesn't work every time. This is Larry Williams cycle forecast indicator. It moves your price action 66 bars into the future off of current and previous price action. So, uh, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Shout out to Keela. May or may not work. Um, you know, I'm, I've just been trying to, you know, keep track of some of these. Uh, let's look at uh, AVAX. It's had a big avalanche, had a big run. Uh, let's see where it's looking to top. Yeah, could be right here on the 12th at noon. So that'd be minus 5B. Uh, was that 7 o'clock? 0700 on the 12th of September. Could possibly be the top for AVAX. Uh, let's pull Luna. Luna, I pretty much already taken profits on Luna. It's on a nine-week uh, TD sequential, so yeah, it's looking like September 10th could be the top on it at 0400. So that'd be 2300 on the 9th of September for Luna. You might get another little pump on this thing starting about the 6th at 4 a.m. So that'd be 2300 on the on September 5th, Central Standard Time. Uh, you could start seeing another another move up on it. Uh, you know, it's taking a little breather, taking a little rest. You know, probably going to rock it up again. That's what it's predicting. Um, let's see, Ethereum. What about... Um, dollar. FTM is having a nice phantom. It's having a nice uh, move today. I think it's up. I don't know exactly how much that was up. Uh, at one point, it was up nearly 30% for today, I think. It's showing around the 10th, maybe the 9th, 2300. Also, as a high. Uh, might be a little higher, but looks about dead even. There's another little even place, but early profit. You could take out, you know, you could sell. Leg out maybe a third, you know, 20, 25 percent. If you wanted to on on the on the ninth, 2300. It's another top, maybe around be uh, four minus uh, five, so be about 11 a.m. on the tenth, and then this one would be about 7 a.m. on the twelfth. We could get a top. So uh, you know. See how that goes. Um, what else we got? Let's look at FTT. FTT, US, nah, not that one. Uh, dollar. FTT, USD on a four hour. It's looking pretty toppish already. Looks like on the 2nd at 11 a.m.